there are some parallels between communion and Passover. And in Luke chapter 22, verse 15, Jesus explains to the disciples that I eagerly desire to have this Passover with you before I suffer. And so looking back at the Passover, that was a time where there was a lamb without blemish who was sacrificed and the blood was applied over the doorposts. And as the Israelites did that by faith, God's Passover, God's mercy, that when the plague came, they were spared. And it was an invitation to put your trust in God, to follow him. And in the same way, Jesus is the Lamb of God with no sin, no blemish. And by his blood that covers us, we are forgiven. It's his mercy, God's wrath, passes over us and we are forgiven. Everyone's given an invitation to receive the payment of sins, the blood of Jesus, and by his mercy, have eternal life with him. So communion is a time, it is deep history and symbolism. There's a parallelism between what God has done in Passover. And that's why the first communion is they take it at Passover time. It also pointed to Jesus's death. And on that crucifixion, he said, before I suffer, and communion is a, it's a solemn time. It's a time to come before God with reverence and acknowledge the ultimate price that Jesus paid. So as you take communion, take it humbly before the Lord.